Hello everyone, I'm Sophia from a Learn Teacher, and today I'm going to talk about differences between folk culture and popular culture. This is from AP Human Geography Chapter 4. First of all, what is culture? Geographers define culture is made of, of visible physical traits, beliefs, and social forms. This means that culture includes food, shelter, religion, language, education, security protection, political and social organization. This everything includes of includes in culture. So mainly this is the thing that we're gonna talk about. Fall culture is traditionally practiced primarily by small homogeneous groups living in relative isolation from other groups. Population culture is found in large heterogeneous societies that share uh, certain customs despite differences in other personal characteristics. First of all, they have different diffusion. Fall culture is transmitted from one location to another, another relatively slowly and on a small scale, primarily through relocation diffusion. But for popul popular culture, typically spreads through a process of hierarchical diffusion, diffusing rapidly and extensively from heart or nodes of innovation with the help of modern communications. And for folk culture, they have let most of them are from less developed countries, such as stage one or two of demographic transition. But for popular culture, it's usually from developed countries, such as stage three to four of demographic transition. And also they have different music styles. For folk culture, Folk songs may tell a story or convey information about life cycle events such as birth, death, and marriage or environmental features such as agriculture and climate. The content is most often derived from events in daily life that are familiar to the majority of the people. For example, in Vietnam, where many people are subsistence farmer, information about agricultural technology was traditionally conveyed through folk songs. But for, in contrast to folk music, popular music is written by specific individuals for the purpose of being sold or to perform in front of large number of people. It frequently displays a high degree of technical skill through manipulation of sophisticated electronic equipment. For example, there are hip hop, which is really, really, really popular in the whole world these days. Next is clothing. Uh, people living in folk culture have traditionally worn clothing in part in response to distinctive agricultural practices and uh, Climatic conditions, cultural factors such as religious beliefs. In pop, uh, the folk custom in the Netherlands of wearing wooden shoes. This is this is one of the example of folk clothing, though still has practical uses in a wet area. Uh, this wooden shoes were uh, made to keep their feet dry on ice and water, and for popular clothing. Popular clothing takes place in an interconnected world. Fashionable clothes, which constantly feature new styles, are among the most globally distributed products available to consumers today. Main difference is that the, is in popular culture, clothing preferences generally reflect occupations rather than particular environments. For a full culture, usually it, it is affected by environments, but for popular culture, it is for occupation, to reflect occupations. So for example, there is wearing jeans. Like whole world is wearing jeans for almost every day. And that is, and that is the popular thing that the many large amount of people are doing it. This is everything I got for today. And there are some other differences of fall, uh, the, between fall culture and popular culture, such as housing and heart. And maybe I have a chance I can do that on the next video. Thank you for listening and see you in the next video.